hey guys, we're about to do a sugar shake. We're looking at the hive, and uh, we're gonna find a a frame that has some good brood on it. All right, cameo, tell me. That's looking good. Let's get this one. All yeah, right. Grab the bowl. So we're gonna put some in here. Sweep them in. Maybe give them a good little shake too. You can see the honey on top, the brood in the middle. Pull up the next one, we'll give a good shake in there. Because they start to fly away too, huh? Mm. But nurse bees don't fly actually. That's the thing. Cameo again. Alright. Give me a shake over here too. Yeah, just like it. Yeah, it's not really coming down. Uh, I think I'll break the frame. I know. Yeah, the frames There's are no... a little easier to shake than the canyons. All right. Yeah, good point. Good job, Camille. Let's try. Should we try this? All right. What we get so far. Just... All right, we've got our honeys and our bees in the jar. And I'm going to put some powdered sugar. So... What happens is that when the, uh, the powdered sugar gets on the bees, they start to clean it off. And the sugar is really harmless to them because it's pretty much just sugar and nectar, what they want anyways. So I'm going to pat this in and I'll show you what, how I'm going to shake them up in a little bit. Alright, we've got the bees in here and the sugar in there, so I'm starting to roll them around. And um, they're going to start getting agitated and cleaning off all the sugar, which will also get off all the mites. And when they get off the mites, we'll pour them out of this screen, and then we'll count them. And there's a ratio that we have to pay attention to of however many mites we find determines if there's a lot of uh, infestation. So we'll check that in a minute. All right, here is our sugar wash that we're going to... Now pour water into, dissolve the sugar so we can see the mites floating around. You can see there's a few starting to float around, so I'll count those and see what the ratio of infection is. Sugar wash. <laughs> 